Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. This is the quarterfinal of the chalice between Elliot and Mr. Light. I'm going to start this match by making some food. So there you go, you can have a look at the teams. Uh, yeah, looks quite a good Wood Elf team from Elliot. And not a great Chorf team actually from Mr. Light, but he is in the, he is in the quarters, so not terrible. Right, it's going to be some expert analysis of uh, chicken, broccoli, and rice right now. So, <laughs> cool. um, yeah, pretty bog standard chops, aren't they? they? I do think they've got like an edge for blodgly pobble, which is kind of cool. But like the rest of the team, not really exciting. They're not very murderous, are they? Like, what, two mighty blow, three mighty blow, some guard. Not a lot to them. Quite like this idea of st stranding the tree. Who's strength seven and block? <laughs> I'm not sure about the strength seven. I don't know if Elliot was took that for a laugh. But I feel like strength six and block jump up would have been better. But never mind. Elliot really wants to protect this dude, doesn't he? Only has 11 men. So... The natural one-turner. Can't afford to give up a hit on him. At all. Yeah. Yes, I feel I. I don't like him being on the extreme edge. I would have rather had him. I do it sometimes. You know the offset with elves, and I put him like on the middle of that. I don't like him so much on the outside of those three. To be honest, I would still like Calvin. You know, holding the interior of the edge, even if he is going to be holding the edge. So the whole half of Mr. Light, there's no wizard that I can see. So the whole half of Mr. Light, he just has to be trying to get this natural one turn, doesn't he? And even if he does get him, there's still a movement nine. Oh, he's eight. Oh, he's plus edge. There's still, a, there's still the movement one. He's got to stand firm though, right? 
One, two. He's only got two stand firmers. But I mean, it's, he's, he's, you know, it's going to be real hard for him to score with a movement eight one. So if he can get this movement ten guy, he's got to feel pretty happy about stopping the one turn. So I think that's that's that obviously he's got to protect the ball and everything as well. But the main goal is get rid of that asshole. <laughs> Well, quite a good job from the tree there, getting a getting a knockdown. And there's not much of a play on the ball for the Woodies, is there? If they just, I mean, they've got to just scream just to keep that catcher safe, really. Blitzing with a tree to keep control of these guys is pretty nice, isn't it? Is he thinking about the GFI to contact a bull? I don't think so. I'm just going to all those three guys, yeah. And it totally stops the uh, break back to the other side, doesn't it? Interesting. Didn't really like giving him somebody he could blitz to get away. So he did correct that, didn't he? Moved away. He's got a juggernaut. So he has got a help for the one turn. <laughs> An abs three juggernaut. Just for the one turn. Brilliant. That's pretty funny, isn't it? That's got to be one of the more specialised players in blood bowling history. <laughs> the good thing for Mr. Light is even if uh, Elnior does screen this for a, quite a while, you can just jump over and run through anywhere. Yeah, the hobble's pretty great. But now with this guard, might uh, might start trying to do something. But stand firm. Wow! Really wanted that pal.
dice not cooperating. Brilliant, getting brilliant value from the tree here though, isn't he? Can punch both these guys, but now he hasn't got a reroll for them, both blockless. Maybe he should have made those first. Play it safe. See what happened and then uh, maybe not go for this player that he's going for now. If he had used the reroll in the box. It's a pretty aggro reroll. He does have four, but still. He did want to knock him down, didn't he? Because I'll let him attack these guys too. Maybe that was right. I kind of suck going for the 55% knockdown, but had he got the knockdown. He could have knocked him down and both bulls. That's looking pretty good. Ces joueurs sont tout poches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Oh man, oh man, what a block. What a fucking block and what an apple. What an outrageous cast to make. Blockless block, no reroll available. I mean, obviously you're going to make that block all day. Well, that was crazy, wasn't it? That is an elf with Juggernaut, just for the one turn. Because uh, he's playing, you know, playing quite a lot of... Uh, Stand firm. So I guess he just got Juggernaut just for this, just for the one turn, entirely for the one turn. Either this round or maybe last round. You don't know when he. I don't know when he got it, but um, it looks like the most. As I said, I said probably the most specialized, probably the most specialized player in Blood Bowl history. That guy. Probably, he could have chained the uh, tree up here, couldn't he? With blocks, he could have uh, pushed that guy to there. Though he would have been cast. And then you could have chained him into there. No, that would have been good because you'd have made free him up. I like not activating the tree here. He's already dominating him. No need to risk a root or a dub skull. Hello, little Baz. I think the hobble's got to hit the catcher, right? Three dice. And then he can punch the air. Uh, Bludger. Because you don't really care if you don't knock down the catcher. Maybe you do. <laughs> Gets the wrestle. That leaves the dancer still quite dangerous though. I have a little uh Little difficulty in protecting the ball here. Such value from the tree, though, isn't it? This is really. Everyone doesn't like a tree. You can look at this game and think the tree's pretty good, actually. What's on the menu? Same as always, Dimmy G. Chicken, rice and broccoli. Yum, yum, yum. He's going for the foul. Doesn't even break AV. There's a potential for a one day on the ball here, isn't there? You can push him, get a guard in, and hit a 1D on the ball. 
I'm not saying that's a great idea. You could also blitz the strength four and push the tree in there to punch him. Which would get his tree right in the right in the mixer. I wouldn't hate that. I wouldn't hate seeing that. Could move this guy to here. Blitz him. Juggernaut him. <laughs> Push him into there. And then you could get the tree on both bulls. I mean, not okay that he can break tackle away, but... He might go for the 1D. He might just... It, there's a lot of options in the without, you know. He could he could go for this pushing. He could, like, it's still quite good, the tree taking up two players. Two good players. So, I think that's maybe a stupid idea. But it's it was possible. Yeah, like, he's still doing a good job. He's still stopping the reverse. He's still stranding two players completely. Whereas he wouldn't be stranding balls, would he? So maybe he was thinking about going for this one day on the ball. Um, but obviously not anymore now that he got the push. I think he'd probably just keep the ball there, uh, keep the tree there unactivated. And go for some other kind of blitz. Not really sure what that blitz will be. Maybe a tree blitz? There's nowhere really from the goal. Does re roll this? Like, it's alright to re roll it, but that's really putting him on one re roll for three turns now, isn't it? Which is uh, a bit scary. Kai wants to keep that re roll for the one turner. So maybe he could have avoided that, but then if he had, he knows he's getting dirty played. I'm saying because he's made no bones about dirty playing last turn. I guess he's just not going to blitz. Because he can block and keep them both on the tree, or he can just not activate and keep them both on the tree, or he can. <laughs> I like that, really keeping this guy safe. Yeah, he just doesn't activate, he just doesn't want to activate the tree. It's a lot of TV, but it's not just the TV, is it? It's the fact that he's keeping them occupied on the field. Like, it doesn't matter how much TV you've got. And you've got players on the pitch that can affect the game. Three, six, seven, eight. He's only got eight players. And he's got ten. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty good having two more players on the pitch, isn't it? Essentially. Thanks to that disgusting Randall card. Not really progressing forward, is he? So now Elliot's got to start thinking about how he can contain any possible breakaway now, isn't he? He's blunted the initial attack. Now he's just got to think about stopping the like, you know, the switch to the middle or whatever, hand off to a bull. You know, anything that you can kind of do to get forward. Anything dodgy like that. Because he stopped the touchdown already at this stage pretty much with three turns left. Or he gets the dodge away. Look a dog. He could have re-rolled that. Only got three turns left. He's got three reels for three turns. He could have thought about re-rolling that. Maybe he should have done. There's no real way to get a hit on the ball here without the guard, is there? Oh, I play on Xbox! Oh, goodbye. Oh, no. I think we'll see another boring turn from Elliot here as he plays very conservatively. And I'm going to take away my uh, my plate so I can rinse off all the shit so it doesn't stick to it. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup de sucre.
en dessous de la ceinture. Did he chain the air? Uh... Oh, he just blitzed him and then moved the tree. Okay, he didn't chain him or blitz with the tree. Interesting. So, you know, maybe he could have chained the tree last turn. I mean, he really is holding this side pretty hard now, isn't he? But he has got the brick tackles. And maybe he could try to break tackle blitz, you know, block here, blitz here, and get through here a bit now. Maybe Elliot has uh, opened opened that channel a little bit. Who knows? It's getting pretty desperate for Miss Light, isn't he? He hasn't got no removals, which is terrible. And being removed himself, which is just ridiculous against Wood Elves, isn't it? When Wood Elves out bash you, that's bad times. That's fucking bad times. Doesn't really matter how good... How good a coach you are, does it, in that situation? There's no real... Outplaying can be done there. He's just got a hope. Somehow he gets out of this nil-nil, I think. He can put himself eight squares away with a hob, so he can leap and dodge and double GFI. It's probably about the best he's going to get. Looking pretty rough though. Pretty rough. H5 doesn't have guard. It's not it's not easy for him to get guard in the cage. Going for the foul here. Fouling a stun character, he does have a bribe. So the only cost is the bribe for future. Doesn't really work. Yeah, I mean it's tricky to it's tricky to chain push him. Very tricky to chain push him. These have both got stunned for. So you've got to 1D him and then blitz this uphill blitz this or or or, or juggernaut somebody. He could juggernaut this guy. He's just moved him. He could have juggernaut it out, but then we were only pushing it there. Blocking him and then uphill blitzing the, the bull into the uh, tree would work, but then he'd still want to get 2D on him. I can 2D because he's got a guarder. Maybe he's going to go for the uphill on the uh, on the bull. The thing is though, by doing like something funky like this, it collapses your conventional defence a little bit, doesn't it? Which isn't great. Well, he's not doing that frontal assault. Oh, he's doing that chain. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. What an idiot I am. Yeah, that was much That was much easier. Fucking hell, I'm an idiot. Yep. Well done, Squirrel. Well done, Elyard. 
badly done Jim so if you get a cheeky pal here he's laughing isn't he <laughs> if you saw that well done I mean I should have seen it it wasn't it's not it's not incredible player to see it is it should have seen it myself but it's better than a shitter Dangerous follow here. He'll get. He'll have a lot of strength and assists. Yep, yeah, doesn't follow. Yeah, my initial thought. I saw the stand. Like I was thinking the same. Go from that side. Saw the stand firms. Then went to him, whereas Elliot carried on down the line. I guess and thought, ah ha ha. I think the natural instinct was to look at the stand firm guys. Thing you've got to think about holding on to a nil nil. I mean, at the moment he hasn't got a scoring threat. So on turn eight, if if Elliot doesn't get a scoring threat next turn, which could be like this guy in the halfway line, if he doesn't get a scoring threat next turn, then obviously you you, you just try to get him eight squares away, and go for the leap play or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no good, no good squirrel. <laughs> and now he's only got one reroll left, right? This is where the early, earlier reroll that wasn't so important, I don't think, but maybe it was. And now he's going to think about this one. Maybe he does it this turn. Maybe he's going to go without the reroll for the one turn because you don't need the one turn if he doesn't score. Today. And so. Is so. My cock. I like the non-follow. I think a lot of people would have followed there, but that was a real dangerous follow, wasn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. He was getting two deed. I think some people would have followed with a tree there, but he, I think he was very wise to not follow. This is looking not great, is it? This uh, this guy probably should be one in, but of course he doesn't want that guy one in because this guy is his I lose the game if I lose him character. He doesn't get the power, he's got to reroll that. He does get the power. But you can sidestep to here to still occupy the space. Needs him to not be removed. He is not removed. Oh, baby. So, he's, he's got to get onto the eight squares away, hasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got to be like here. One, two. It's gonna be on this, on this roll. Now, how on earth does he get the ball carrier on this roll and still protect the ball? Probably doesn't. Maybe he just gives up or has a. Oh, he's, he's got. Okay, so, okay. So he's he is, he's not giving up. He's gonna go there. He can't get chained back though, right? So I think I think on Elliot's turn you try and chain him back. No, I don't want to use Dio speak. Though I guess rank 8 isn't so bad. But I hate, I hate peace. And I despise line. <laughs> I despise line. There's no excuse for using line in Blood Bowl. Like it's okay that it's a it's a thing in in poker, but it's not a thing in Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, oh, and he's down, and he can be pushed. So that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if uh, I wonder if Elliot will use some chain pushes to try and get in. He could chain him here, couldn't he? Use the dead body, chain him, and then maybe he's get a guard in and two D him. That doesn't look too difficult, does it? There's a guard right here. There's a dancer here. Could push him into the body. This guard could come around, run around to there. Run around to here. Push him. 
another guy there, yeah. There, there, push the little bit of dirt there. Guard in there. Dancer punches him, pushes him back as well. Maybe powers him, pushes him into the tree. He gets the thing, he fucks off. He's got to get it over the halfway line. This is this could be a real good turn. I, I quite like this. I quite like this moving him in, moving him in. Commit the re-roll. Oh, he's got it. You can just stand him up. So this guy's got to stand here, right, for, for, for the chain. That's my that's my plan. I guess he can just 2D this guy straight up. But I, I don't like that. I like, I like the chain. Chain him to here and then blitz him. Looks like he's just 2Ding the... Uh, 2Ding the bull, which I don't really like so much. <laughs> oh, what's bad? <laughs> Go on for the 3D. No, I think I like... I prefer my play to whatever... Whatever... <laughs> whatever it is that Elliot's doing here. Hasn't got the scoring threat yet. Maybe he's still going for my play. Who knows? Well, there isn't a space to punch him now. <laughs> I guess he can still chain him out and then still punch him. But surely he's got to... He's got to chain... No, he's just running around. So he's pushed him back anyway. That was the important thing to get him pushed back, I guess. But he could have really gone for the sack. I think if your player was to get him out of scoring threat, scoring range, I think you've got to get this stand this guy up and GFI him, right? I prefer, I think I prefer going for the sack, you know. You go for the sack, you could have just got the ball to your catcher and been away. But the catcher could have just been over here and away, couldn't he? Could have been one nil up. Pretty easily. This is maybe more conservative, but even then there was like two pluses and two Ds and stuff, which, whichever way he did it. Maybe he didn't see that. Because I didn't see I didn't see his turn the, the turn before. So maybe he just didn't see that. Bull can probably run all the way around, but then he looked, yeah, the bull could run all the way around. Oh, he won D powers him! Fuck off! <laughs> what a look at dog! Well, if you just one deep arm, it's all good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, disgusting! Disgusting! <laughs> Crikey! Now maybe you just break tackle and and blitz this guy so he can't score. Because you can't score yourself, can you? So now you probably just break tackle away and billet him. <laughs> yeah, just fucking, just be a dice lord if all. No, he wasn't being a dice. I mean, he was playing safe, wasn't he? And conservative. Um, it's just that his his chances of a of a fucking power were pretty low. Finally gets a removal, turn eight. Happy day. <laughs> yeah, you can't chain him, can he? I don't like this. Do I not like this? I don't know if he realises this, but um, Eldiod has an edge five player with leap and sure hands and a scoring threat <laughs> I do not like blitzing a random dude <laughs> for attrition <laughs> I do not like that yep hello necro impotence I think he had to dodge blitz him
<lacht> Verkauft den nicht. <lacht> no! Go to Apo, instant Apo. Also, my line would have had him not getting hit. It would have had him with the ball over here, which would have been better. <laughs> Wait, he rolled a three and re rolled it. <laughs> Penis. Oh no, he rolled a one. No, he rolled a. What? Okay, that just looks weird. So he rolled the one, then re-rolled it. And then the three became a success. No, so it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> I thought that was an absolute... Yeah, it was the dice log that was stupid, not Mr. Light. I thought that was a terrible... I thought that was a terrible miss... Miss, break, tackle, dodge. But it was just a fucked up dice log. Setting himself up quite well for the, the turn 9 score here, anyway. There is an unassisted square here, isn't there? Uh, uh, unlike, unguarded square. But he's lost his mighty blow. His mighty blow is tackler. Not his mighty blow. Lost his tackle player, so... Not so scary. Leaving the uh, leaving this on. <laughs> yeah, no one turn for Elliot. That's for sure. So you can punch him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then leap one deep. Like, it's not great, but what else are you going to do? Oh, wow, he just rolled all the dice. Making it a 2D, fair enough. Fails the leap, removes himself. Classic. Yep. Yep, I've had that Skuro, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I turned off manual dodge. <laughs> because also, if you use dodge on that, right, then you shouldn't use it later in the turn and stuff, so it's just fucking stupid anyway. Like, you, it's correct to not use dodge there. Because you can only use dodge on one of the dodges. So it's fucking stupid. It's doubly stupid that it, that, that, that happens that way. Because that's the one time where you shouldn't use dodge. Because now you've used your dodge. And you can't use it later in your turn. So it's proper, proper stupid. Alright, so down to 10 men. That's a pretty good half in terms of attrition. To be only on 10 men. Like, to be on 10 men, he stopped the... St Stop the tuddy. Ten men is fine. Actually good, really better than he could have hoped for at the start of the game. And it's like you did a 1-1 one -one with his natural one turner, isn't it? Same difference. And he's got the draw, he's just got to uh somehow keep it keep the ball and uh, score on turn eight. Maybe turn seven. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, obviously, he could have done it. He could have maybe he's got the 1-0, that half. He really could have maybe he's got the 1-0 there. It was, like, I'm not blaming him for not going for it. He might not have seen it. But even if he saw it and didn't go for it, I think that's also a fine decision. Like, it's not, it's not like I thought he was crazy for not going for it. But I don't think it was much more risky going for, going for it my way. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, once manual dodge happened, I discovered it pretty quickly, but it's still crap. 
it's still crap when you find out. <laughs> it doesn't matter when you find out. When you find it out, it's pretty crap. <laughs> Especially when you're doing the right thing by not using that. That's what makes it worse. Be interesting to hear from Elliot to see if he uh, if he disregarded going for the counter score or if he didn't see it. But um, I really liked it. I, I thought he was in a pretty strong spot to go for the one nil counter score at that point. I did not see the one before, so it's possibly didn't see it. It is late at night as well, isn't it, in the UK? So it's not a great time for him. Now he's just got to piss about, try to expose the shitters and not the good players. Kill time until he can score and make it and win the game, isn't it? So really just about minimising hits, that's the only thing that really matters. Positioning's basically irrelevant. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's not been that hot today, but it is late. Uh, this is this could be a, a case for the Dakar approach, couldn't it? He just needs to expose his not good players. In fact, he's only got one good player, really. I guess the guarders. He should try and protect the guarders for subsequent games. Um, and he should protect his one turner. Who is a guarder anyway? So he probably should protect his guarders. Try to protect his guarders as much as possible, and uh, and then just move thirteen squares in the last turn to win. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Hello, Stark Weather. He could pick up the ball. Look, <laughs> just literally <laughs> just go there and pick it up himself. <laughs> Not that he will, of course, because he's got sure hands and can get further away. But it's just funny that he could just run over and pick it up. This guy will get 3D. That's the only bad thing about that, isn't it? But even if he's 3Ding him, he's uh, he's not 2Ding him. Like he's defenseless, isn't he? Yeah, maybe a 10 just straight up, straight up removed from Blood Bowl 2020. Movement capped at 9. Passing kept it at a completely unhelpful 1 plus. Oh, baby. He play on Xbox. <laughs> he play on Xbox. <laughs> oui, oui, oui. <laughs> Thank you very much, Goliath Games. <laughs> Incredible, thank you very much, Goliath. And uh, commiserations on being beaten by a literal minor tonight in JFW. But, <laughs> but thank you very much for that. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got to pick the stand firm. Like, the stand firm is a hell of a scoring threat, anyway, isn't he? Edge 5 and and a 2 plus leap, like, that's fucking brilliant at the end of the day. Juggernaut coming in uh, in there, innit? if he got the ball down he could have still just pushed him and and moved to assist, so it's pretty, pretty good Juggernaut for this match only I think. Yeah, it's going to continue and not activate the tree, which is fair enough. Fair enough? <laughs> they don't want to nerf dwarves though, Satterfield. <laughs> so, so what, that doesn't matter. That doesn't work, does it? <laughs> that doesn't work. They want. They wanted dwarves to be the best. He's not blitzing with his claw mighty. He, he is sticking everybody on the tree like a massive noob. But he's <laughs> he's blitzing it with wrestle. He's gonna get down the block tree with a wrestler. Oh, he's gonna get him down anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's I think that's a big part of it as well. There'd be a bit of a I think there'd be a bit of a backlash if they change the uh, size of the board, right? I think that would be not suicidal for them, but I think that would be a bit of a 
bit of a PR disaster if they if they if they'd done that. I think mean, that would be too much for, for the, you know the dedicated fans to uh, accept. Really, like I think the making the models bigger was a pretty great move because they like. Well, they probably should have made them smaller, if anything, to make it like, to make the pitch seem bigger. Because they've made it like a fucking five a side pitch now with the new models that are so fucking big. But that was kind of good because that kind of kind of invalidated all of the old models and all of the third party models without actually invalidating them, didn't it? So that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, I know you want to see a model, so like they, you know. But I just think from from like Blood Bowl point of view, I think smaller would be better and to make to fit the size of the pitch better. But as it happened, Nathan Big has gone for the DP. Elliot anticipated this, not standing firm, but didn't matter. He might now move the, his entire team through here. He's, this is all being held by one shitty little dwarf. He may well uh, bust through here and put his whole team over there. These two just run around. He's got the juggernaut blitz as well to make sure he gets him out of the way. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Goliath, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Goliath. All these, the sub, the gift, the, the donor, thank you very much, Goliath. And uh, welcome to Team Fantastic Arcane. Glorious. Oh, hello, Royal. He does do the blitz with the uh, with the uh, juggernaut, getting lots of value out of this juggernaut. Then. Um. <laughs> this is <a> jet. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, this was a pretty obvious play. I don't think I was a genius for spotting it, or or Elliot was a genius for doing it either. I think this was pretty obvious. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a bit of a mistake by uh, Mr. Light putting this extra guy in who wasn't assisting. He could have been holding the middle as well, couldn't he? This ball could have been back there. That might have been better. Well, I think it would have been better. Pretty unarguably. I don't think you're really doing a lot by tagging a Garda here. Yeah, Jugs is a good pick. There was a lot of stun firm. Wait, what? Fucking can't type. There you go. What did I do wrong? The other one. There's been a lot of stand firm. You can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Did you not like that? Overcommit to foul the tree. <laughs> PTK. Um. I don't know. I don't really know the teams, to be honest, Necro Impotence. <laughs> I, I, honestly, like, the foul is one thing. The gigantic foul on him is... Uh, like, the assists and the foul on him is one thing, but I just think that that this ball, being here, would have stopped all of this, wouldn't it? And this was pretty obvious. Like, instantly, this was the obvious... Uh, the obvious result of that, wasn't it? <laughs> but the thing that there's still the foul wasn't as bad as if again if he just left that guy back but 
But yeah, you can argue that he maybe shouldn't have uh, that he maybe shouldn't have focused on the tree and maybe shouldn't have fouled him anyway. And now he's got his entire team on the wrong side of the ball. He's got a waddle back. And somehow apply enough pressure to get Elliot to score early. So there's a removal. So he's down to nine. And the tree is stranded, so he's down to eight. <laughs> Dimmy's light on everything pretty much, Necropotent. <laughs> I guess he's going to try and get as much tackle as he can on as many dodges as he can. Crumpins. He has got his leap boy to do stuff, I guess. There's a one. Instant reroll. Quite like that, trying to corral the uh, blitzer, the blitzer, the one turner a bit, but of course the one turner nowhere near as important anymore. I'm sure Elliot should be able to disentangle his players as. Uh, Optimally as possible here. Is he going to break tackle through here? No. Might have been an idea to break tackle through, right? Could have done the break tackle to there, and it might not have even needed break tackle, and he could have carried on going to here. Or somewhere. I might have got in the way a bit. I think it would have been worth going for the break tackle to there. Maybe. No. <laughs> Hello, more malt slash sea conquer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did log in and cross out. The clan wars was really hard to organise anyone playing though, wasn't it? That was the problem when we tried to do when we tried to do, <laughs> we really tried to do clan wars at one point and it just was a bit rough. It seems a lot better graphics seem really cool now. Like all the maps and that seem really nice. Seemed a lot of stuff that had been added. I enjoyed Theresa May's dildo riding again. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll get back into it, but it was alright to play it again. Should be able to disentangle. Decently effectively here, I would say. He's got a dodge out from dodge there. The bull is, is actually in a pretty good spot there, to be fair. He's just scoring. Wow. I thought he could have actually disentangled quite well. But Elliot. Maybe he doesn't want to put the entire game on the line on a 136, which is a fair fair course of action to take. His tackle stays out. So he has no tackle to deal with his blodger. He's got to rely on stopping it somehow. Or going overtime and winning the toss, I guess. <laughs> Boris Johnson's butt plug. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, incredible, eh? I mean, that was perfect. Perfect result for Mr. Light there. And he let, he let Elliot get through, and then Elliot scored anyway. Like, he did get quite a lot of tackle back. But I would have still fancied Elliot to, uh, you know, he's Elliot's still got four rerolls, right? I would have, I would have uh, Fancied him just to dodge people away and stuff, and then commit a reroll if he has to. Blitz the odd guy, do some things, get a screen and that. I guess he doesn't want to risk the match on a one thirty-six, which is fair enough. 
That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, normal game is about an hour or something, yeah. Nine or about an hour. My games are about ten seconds on uh, <laughs> on cross out as I <laughs> as I blow somebody up and then quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, Gadenik. It was a fair few two pluses. I mean, that is that is true. But um, I don't know. I would have fancied him. I would have fancied him to make those two pluses. But that, that's it. You know, we've all had games where. You make one important two plus in the game and you lose because of it. And maybe he worked out how many two pluses he'd have to make. And if it was two, one in 36. Like, you know, there was one game against Fatten where I played recently where he made about three two pluses that if any of them had failed, he just loses. And then he failed the fourth one. Um, which still lost him the game, and it, it, but it didn't have to have done. But the first three, if he'd failed them, he'd have lost. I mean, if you're making three one thirty sixes that lose you the game, that's pretty likely that you that you. I mean, not that likely, but still, a one in twelve ish to lose the game is pretty shit, isn't it? So maybe as if that's a, you know maybe as well, you'd calculated something like that. Yeah, I really don't like the tree that far wide. I think it's much better there because then, you see, he was able to punch the elves while still keeping the guys in the middle. Whereas if he, if the tree's over there and he wants to punch the elves, then he's got to kind of split off his 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 dwarves anyway. So I really quite like having it. I don't mind it split off, but I'd rather have it more central if I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the wrestling is uh, is all skill. <laughs> <laughs> because um, yeah that's a very good point as well so I feel that's the thing Whereas, see look he's moved it to where I would have started it as well but it also hasn't protected those elves getting punched um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah he split, he split off yeah he, he split off like the LOS split off you dickhead <laughs> it's he's he split off in in terms of he split off from the centre rather than the sideline, isn't he? He's got a reroll. He's got five rerolls. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be a dickhead, Elliot. Good. Um, right. Uh, the wrestling. What the wrestling is more mild is uh, what we do with the wrestling is we have an American. Who is a great commentator, and we have me who says yep, and then uh, created loads of wrestlers from the chat and the blood ball world, and we just let the AI fight each other, and it's fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely the best thing on Twitch, I would say. My humble opinion, it's the best thing on Twitch. Now the problem is last drive. The reason I think uh, Gadenik, Mister Light, never looked like st scoring on his drive was he made no removals. Now he's made removals, right? Now he's getting the removals. So that's making it. That's going to make him look more likely to score, isn't it? I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I have done the offset LOS, but again, I still put the tree near, near as near as the middle I can get it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, honestly, it's pretty great, Momo. It's pretty great. Yeah, I think he should, I think he should have not mobbed, I think he should have nobbed about back there, because he, he had the, it was a few two pluses. But he had the re-rolls and I think he should have done it. 
I guess this way, you still got you still gonna have a fifty fifty chance to win at least. And he might still do something, but the fact his tackler was out as well, and he wasn't guaranteed to have a tackler for defense. That makes it a lot less scary for Mr. Light as well. He's basically he knows he can't get he can't get his ball carrier knocked over now, pretty much. Like almost ish. Almost ish can't really get his ball carrier knocked over. Does he try to surf the bull here? <laughs> He probably could. Annoying having these two guards though, that makes it tricky. But pushing him there, then pushing him there, then pushing him off would be amazing, wouldn't it? Woody's He's censored. I did give this game up for a bit, yeah, more, more. I did. I gave up pretty much everything for a while. <laughs> Is Woody's censored? I mean, I could understand the Dark Elf version being censored, but I wouldn't have expected Woody's to be censored. Woody's. I'm confused. <laughs> what a chip fuck. <laughs> Cheeky one D. He's already blitzed. So he must be last turn dodging out this dancer, mustn't he? He's left his uh he's left his movement tenor to get whacked by a chaff. Maybe he's gonna keep the uh dancer in contact just to try and stop his catcher getting hit by a chaff. Oh boy. Mighty blow on the movement tenor. It does look familiar, but there are less, there are less, uh, less elves on the field and less sacking threat. Much less sacking threat without the tackle, and less elves. Like already, he's like the, in the first half, he wasn't getting his movement ten punched at this stage, was he? And Mister Light has got for, further forward than he had done. Like in about two or three turns, he's got further forward than he did in about five turns last time. <laughs> Big mighty blow hit. Just fuck all. Yeah, you couldn't couldn't take the both down, that'd be crazy. Thanks to his fucking wrestle. <laughs> wrestle ball, I'm not a fan of the wrestle ball. I'm not a fan of that follow either, really. I would have liked uh, somebody supporting that dwarf. Maybe he's going to move the guarder in. 
Not a fan of that follow. Si le joueur trébuchant du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood Bowl, ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. But then there isn't. Oh my God! There isn't any. Uh, there isn't any tackle. So. Not sure about that. This is fucking rowdy from Mr. Light, isn't it? This catch, I mean, you could just surf this bull. You can just up, straight up uphill surf this bull now. Double ones it. Oh man. Got to go for the uphill surf on the ball, haven't you? Or maybe something interesting with Juggernaut. <laughs> I mean, you can't read line. Like the, the thing was though, Elliot took the the one day pow as a shot to nothing after he'd already. Uh, Stopped him scoring, didn't he? Whereas if Elliot's relying on a one day pal, that's you've got to feel good about that. If your opponent's relying on a one day pal to stop you scoring, you've got to be pretty happy with that. With those odds, you go for the uphill surf. Yeah, I, I would. But then it's a bit risky, isn't it? And you know, you're, you're losing out on the stopping him conventionally. Maybe he doesn't go for that surf, maybe he just dodges people away. Oh, there's the re roll gone. Nightmare. Instant re roll. Now any dodges from tackle look horrible. The uphill looks horrible now. Well, it'd be madness now, yeah. Now, without the reroll, it's madness. I wouldn't have hated it. Before the reroll. But it's still tricky. Like, what do you do? Just, tr just four guys here. Uh, like six guys across here. Is that what you try to do? Is that the plan? It's only two dodges from tackle, isn't it? Uh, uh, two dodges from tackle and a dodge away from nothing, so you could still get the, the back line pretty reliably up. I'm just gonna blitz the gonna blitz the uh, ball. Ball's the one. Rough. Rough turn for Elliot. Very rough. You're gonna punch him and 3D him. Nah, I, don't, I think that was bad. I think he should. Oh, he stood him up. I think you want to be three dicing this guy, don't you? I don't think you just want to two dice him. I didn't realise the Hobbit stood up. Well, Hobbit should have punched him if he if he hadn't been stood stood up. Oh wow, some shocking dice from Mister Light as well. He doesn't like it under the tree. Could you imagine Elliot doing that? Gobbering Kingu? 
Ah, ik kan... <laughs> Need the removal, right? Because he'll size up to here. So that... He'll still be blocking. I oh, know he's still going through there, though. Gets the removal as well. The bread mask. The Friday for the stupid, stupid play by Elliot, relying on the Friday night fuckboy. <laughs> There's one person who's proven to let you down time and time again. It's the Friday night fuckboy. Only joking. <laughs> And he doesn't even need a cowboy protecting the ball that much, does he? There's no tackle. A guarder. Badly hurt. Badly hurt. He won't get the one turn this half. Because he, he received Sicker's eggs and scored early. Which I didn't really like, personally. But obviously if Elliot wins the toss, he's laughing whatever happens. He's almost getting to the point where he wants to run away with this guy. And he it's not very easy for him to run away, but maybe he should try to run him away. <laughs> he does the 1D, he puts his edge 5 <laughs> in a position to be hit by, by Mighty Blow just so that he can dodge away his movement 10. <laughs> no, he's not dodging him away! Oh my god! Oh my god! This guy's a little. Oh, he's gonna surf the ball! No, he's got a. That's three dice! Oh my god! He went for the up three dice. He's re rolling it! He was going for the surf. Oh my god. He was going for the surf the ball carrier move. Wow. Nearly got it as well, didn't he? That was super rowdy. Like an uphill. Wouldn't have been so bad, but a triple uphill was. Whew. <laughs> that was risque. That was a bit too risque for me. I thought he was just doing that block so he could go there and run away. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would have run him to here and just, you know, got him safe. I thought that was the plan. Yeah, I think the two, I think the minus three was really, really fucking rowdy. Apple's gone as well. Edge five's fucked. This half's going like more what you'd have expected a defensive half to choose. Like that's he had the dream defensive half, first half. He out bashed him. So while while Gdanik said Mr. Light didn't really look like scoring the first half, he was also a bit fucking diced in the first half, really. He was out bashed by Wood Elves in the first half. This half he has not been out bashed by Wood Elves. <laughs> this half he is annihilated the Wood Elves. <laughs> this half he has absolutely fucking brutalised the Wood Elves. Interesting that he just doesn't hit him with the, uh, he just hit him with the shitty wrestler. Another one gone. <laughs> oh boy. Now Elliot needs, needs his movement tent and not be cast <laughs> and to win the toss. Oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Shit ballon. <laughs> Except this one. <laughs> So like that bit of safety, even if this guy gets sent off, he's still alright. There you go, Elliot's fucked. Wow. Wow, what a half that was. In stark contrast to the first half, this half he's made like six cars. Jesus. Even if he wins the toss, he's going to have like <laughs> between three and five players. If he'd had the natural, he would have still won probably. How stupid is that? Like if that hadn't been a Kaz, if that had been a KO that recovered. <laughs> if that had been a KO that recovered or just a stun. Um, he just a stun because he couldn't foul this turn anyway. I, maybe he would have done. If that had just been a stun, let's say, and he didn't drive him again. Even with fucking four players on the field, he would have still probably won if he won the toss. Ridiculous. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, are we? Bullshit. You can be mine. Slick Rick. Thank you very much for the massive raid. Um, gigantic, colossal raid from Demon Prince Rick. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's an interesting one. Elliot wasn't really forced to score. He, he could have done dodges and stuff. To uh, it's it's kind of, it's nearly good timing, Rick. The problem is Elliot's team was just deleted last turn, so even if he wins the toss, he is he's, <laughs> he's up shit creek. He re is one turn. If he had his one turn, he probably wins right on a fifty-fifty. Such is the power of one turn. As well, he didn't win anyway, but. <laughs> Didn't win the toss anyway, but if he'd won the toss and still had his one turner, he could have still won. Quite easily, couldn't he? But um, as it is, he lost the one turner and lost the kind toss. Yeah, it was weird. Elliot broke through. And it wasn't like, it wasn't super risky. It wasn't super risky. Um, <laughs> well, Jobu, uh, probably Mr. Light is better than Ziggini. Um, <laughs> I would say that's fair to say, seeing as it looks like Mr. Light's going to be in the semi final here. Um, what was the odds on the minus 3D? That's a good question, Ali Yeti. We can use Samba to find out the chance of getting the push, can't we? He was 50-50 to get it. That's crazy, isn't it? With a reroll, he was 50-50 to get three serves. And then he would have been like a 2-plus and a 1-D, maybe a 2-D to get the serve afterwards. Um, but that's surprising, isn't it? Getting a push on minus 3-D, you wouldn't think it'd be as high as 50% with a reroll. But it, yeah, and it was. It, it, <laughs> yeah, it probably would have won had it worked. So yeah, you know, maybe it was the right player. But he certainly paid a price for it, didn't he? Because everybody involved in the play got Kaz the next turn. <laughs> um, I think the, the play was to just stall more. I, I'm, I'm, I'd be very interested to hear why he didn't stall more. Also, he could have gone for the turnover score. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go for the turnover score. 
in the first half. And uh, I'm also surprised. Yeah, Inarion received though Necropotence. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking four L's is not enough. A minus three D fix a table, yeah, very good. Puts them away, doesn't it? <laughs> Put away the tables. <laughs> I'm not calling I'm not I'm not calling Elliot a shitter at all. But it'd be interesting, that's why it'd be interesting to hear what he said. Like, if a shitter had done it, I'd be like, what an idiot. <laughs> I mean, not really, because it wasn't, it wasn't... If it was somebody who I thought was crap, I would have just thought they hadn't seen it. Whereas, I wouldn't think that Elliot hadn't seen it. So, you must have decided not go for it. Which I'd like to know why. Out of interest, because it's interesting, isn't it? I, I don't claim to always be right, despite, despite the fact that I've got a thing saying Jimmy is always right. <laughs> I don't actually claim to literally always be right. It's just a joke, I'm from Fumble, from my Fumble days. Um, and I would always listen to anything anybody had to say. Always do when I'm streaming and somebody says, something really stupid like why don't you do that I always think maybe it is good so but especially when it's Elliot right there's got to be some something he was thinking he didn't just randomly do it he has got the tackle back I'm surprised that Mr. Light didn't blitz the tackler that seems an obvious thing to do doesn't it when you've got a bludger and he's got one tackler I think he should pretty much just blitz the tackle guy. <laughs> it seems crazy to not just blitz the tackler with mighty blow. <laughs> like you literally could have just instantly blitzed him. <laughs> Elliot has got great kick equity. I mean, not really, because he's got to get a kicks first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dimitri. Good day, Nick. Backdoor Billy. PTK still on the field. Who were the, who were the good players? Wolfcraft Hammer Arms. <laughs> and Store. They were the boys. They pretty much lost in the game, losing them too. That's a pretty good tree. Not as good as uh, a movement foot, movement three tree though, or a jump up tree. PTK, PT. I mean, anything can happen when he's got this tackler, right? Looks like he's shooting his bolt straight away with a tackler. Shoots his bolt instantly with with his tackler. Fails, gets stamped on, loses. <laughs> Rooted tree. Oh well. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't blame him for that. It's fair enough, isn't it? He had to. I agree, absolutely had to. It doesn't need a step on it, but it sterilely likes the taste. Nah, he can't outrun it, but he can foul it next turn after, can't he? He could foul it the turn after. I'd still probably foul it this turn, just because I'd want to. No, oh, well, I guess not now. Not now that you've got a dodge away from the uh, other dancer.
definitely don't foul it with a wrestler, but. Could bring over the wrestler for a 3D. Gets the bow. Yeah, I, I wonder what you'll think about the not scoring. I mean, well, about the scoring and the not going for the counter score. Two big, two big questions to ask Elliot. See if I can get him in here afterwards. <laughs> You're the man of law. <clears throat> Just leave him to rage. Seethe on his own. <laughs> no, it's not, Dimitri. <laughs> God, you know what they said? They said something similar to that on fucking the snooker. After fucking some idiot with a stupid name, what's he called? Kyron Wilson won, and they were like, "You've got the heart of a lion." No, you don't. You just fucking hit, walked around a table and hit a ball with a stick. <laughs> you did fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally fucking nothing. <laughs> I have Dimmy G, yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> it's not intense. Wow, he doesn't even. He stumps the wrong dancer. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit. Deserved non break. Wow. Wow, <laughs> Mr. Light. Uh, you can, um, yes, Oats, my brother. Um, there are two things, two, well, one way. The way to get SPP from fouling is by a roll on the press to nuffle table. The way you get the roll on the press to nuffle table is by either taking it as an inducement for 50k um, or by rolling it on the cheering fans result and winning the cheering fans. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? I mean, okay, it's still hard to hit, right? It's still hard to hit, but he's got a chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't go around that way. He's got to go through here. Two through tackle. One, two, three, that one as well, four, five, and then a GFI. So he's, I mean, he's got to do it, right? Three, 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 what? Three, 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 four, three, uphill, pow. Ball skies to him, he doesn't catch it, goes to there. He dodges out, runs off to here. He picks it up, lobs it to him, GG. Easy. Fucking easy. No, oh, you can go that way. Ah, oh, it's better, isn't it? I was stupid. Oh, he gets the pal! <laughs> He's halfway there. Fouled the wrong fucking one. I can't believe he fouled the wrong dancer, though. Like, okay, double power anyway, I guess. Oh, there's the, the ball's gone there as well! Oh my god, I'm so good at blood ball. I knew it was happening. <laughs> he can't go. He's got sidestep. He can go at the sideline. He can just fully go at the sideline here. And then he can't get hit with tackle. And go at the sideline and score in range, in fact. He could be here. 
and you just pick it up and lob it to him. Holy shit. Yeah, because he's moving eight, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lob it. GFI, GFI. You could even dodge it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. Oh! -ho! Okay, he doesn't double one. G GFI. I think you've got a GFI, you know. If you use the app, maybe you could GFI back one. Yeah, he's, he's, he, oh, he goes forward. I'm not sure about going forward. Got to re-roll this. Right, how many squares have you got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lob from there, or one, two, three, four. He just dodges out and back and throws from here. I'm not sure about that. Maybe he should have been one back one. Mr. Light founding the wrong dancer. Tisk tisk. You rolled a six. <laughs> He's fucking got it. Flip me, guys. Oh boy. You can only blitz with a dirty player. Holy shit! I did call it, didn't I? He fouled the wrong fucking dancer! <laughs> it was... <laughs> it was an incredible turn. Oh, I wonder if he could... Uh... No, he's got sidestep, so he can't get any chain. No, he doesn't have sidestep, so he could maybe chain... The bull, one forward. But then... He's next to him, which is crap anyway. Oh man, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> he's got. A, he's got to make it two D, hasn't he? He's got a double GFI to there. One at a time, mate. You might not make the second if you fail the first. <laughs> And he's just got a bliss, hasn't he? Simple as that. Probably shouldn't move these guys. Seeing as... Like, you know, if the ball goes... Like, if, if Elliot sidesteps to the sideline and the ball goes in the crowd... If he pals and side, Elliot sidesteps to the sideline and the ball goes into the crowd, he'd want them to react. So he probably shouldn't have moved those two. Gets the pow. Does Elliot go close at the end zone? That was a rather fucking tragic anti-climax, wasn't it? Gets the armor break into the crowd. Goes back to the bull that he's got free. Well, isn't that shit? <laughs> How tragic. The craziest turn ever. Into the most boring turn ever. <laughs> Uses last reroll on the 4 plus pickup. Oh well. Elio can still try to pick up the ball and like do something. No rerolls, but if you can if you can grind the clock down at least. If you can at least just try and like run away and somehow do something.
There's no kick equity, is it? But it's they neither have re rolls. Tree is rooted. Otherwise, that would absolutely be the play. Yeah, that was just, that was a tragic turn, wasn't it? That was an absolute. That was an absolutely tragic turn. Yeah, hand off the tree probably wouldn't be that bad if you could guarantee the tree getting it. But obviously, if it scatters away, then it's not good either, is it? Oh, rolls a one. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that's the problem in it, Jahanian. Like, it gives you the best chance of scoring next turn, doesn't it? Which is kind of your only chance of winning, right? You want to go to one of these two squares or this square and not caught and then go like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. If you go back to one of these two, well, to this one, which is the only way you could have gone to, um, okay, the ball doesn't go in the crowd, but if your armor isn't broken, what do you do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI, you can't score, he hits you with tackle. So... You're in a pretty fucking horrible spot. I think risking the throwing was alright. I think it was bad by Mr. Light moving his guys back first. Not as bad as firing the wrong guy, like. <laughs> that's been that's been the biggest mistake of the game, no doubt. Does he foul with the uh, the chalk blocker there? I don't like leaving the push into the bull on. No, he had a he had a hobgoblin that could reach. Oh, knee's done. Double GFI, was it? Well, looking pretty good now for Mr. Light. Looking pretty good against two elves. It was looking pretty shit against three elves last turn. <laughs> but now there's only two elves left. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> tackle yeah it's such a shame wasn't it after that turn like that was that was tragic wasn't it uphill power him get the scatter to there <laughs> he comes in buzz at the dancer he just all worked as well perfect <laughs> not a legal concede yet Belladon um, he did have the push into tree chance as well, yeah. You need two players left for a legal concede. Three in Blood Bowl 2020, but two in uh, two in uh, these rules. He's only got two elves, <laughs> but he has three players. Yeah, I mean, it's it's on set up in CRP and Blood Bowl 2016. Whether it will be on set up for uh, Blood Bowl 3 or not is another question. Whether they can be asked to... This is a terrible foul, because this can, in fact, cost them SPPs. This could cost him SPPs, this foul. I don't think Elliot would would concede to deny him the 5 SP, well, 8 SPPs. But that could that could have cost him 8 SPPs, that foul. <laughs> I 
Well, it's a, if it's a, if it's a legal concede, why not, Jahani? Wouldn't cost him the five SPPs from the MVP, would it? It just cost him three from the touchdown. And what's he on? He's on under eleven, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Hello, Elliot. Uh, would you <laughs> commiserations? What a turn, eh? Um, and then to be countered by just an instant full power and worst possible throwing. Um, would you like to? Uh, would you like to come into commentary and have a little chat about a couple of things, or or not? <laughs> Yeah, there could be anything like that could happen. Uh, Jimmy Dreambeard, yeah. Yeah, Anarian police get called. Anarian police get called, they turn up to your house and uh, you get battered. Yeah, I mean, they could have different, like, because Nurgle have got their own one, like, Nurgle have got their own inducement as well, haven't they? So they could bring out corn exclusive inducements. They could bring out Zinch and Slanish exclusive inducements, or they could bring out um, like a Chaos Insp expansion, couldn't they, with different uh, different Chaos teams? Anything's possible. Do you want to join us, Elliot, or not? You have done. I can't hear you because I haven't got to change the thing. Right, sorry, Elliot, sorry, I can't hear. But right, give me a minute. <laughs> I forgot to change the thing. Oh, God. Right. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Give me a second. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Hello, Elliot. Oh god, you're super quiet. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'll end the YouTube video here anyway because this is this is it's good enough. Right. Stay fantastic. Cheers.